Hi, I'm Chad Crossbones. Welcome to my first art vlog. So, I was going to talk a little bit about being a colorblind artist. I loved art when I was a kid. And I think I was in late elementary school and we were doing the color wheel. So we had acrylic paints and we were supposed to give us red, yellow, and blue and we were supposed to mix a color wheel three spots in between those and piece of cake, right? Green color wheel nothing hard about it and so I take her take the paper to the teacher and she looks at it for a minute and looks at it weird and says you have to start over and okay and so I did it again I handed it to her and she's looking at it weird and she goes do it again I ended up just trying to measure the volume half and half that should be the color in between right apparently not and so yeah I'm getting really frustrated I take it up to her again and she goes you better take this seriously I'm like I'm the only one taking this seriously during that class, we ended up going to take the vision test and the hearing test and colorblind test. And so, there's the dots with the numbers, and I saw like one out of ten. And I got to go tell the art teacher that I was colorblind. Oh, okay. And you can go on to the next assignment then. I wasn't really much into it after that. <laughs> I didn't touch colors for years. I avoided colors like they were gonna hurt me or something. <laughs> it was too much for my little brain to be that wrong. And I don't know why, but and not touch color for years. Should have, should have just had fun with it. And then, who cares if what I'm seeing is different than what you're seeing? I'm having fun painting it, and you, even if you cringe when you look at it, I could have had fun painting. But. I'll talk more about being colorblind later. Things I have planned coming up. I got draw my life, tours of sketchbooks, tour of my work area, tutorials, time lapses, art vlog. I was looking at my analytics, and for some reason, like 89% of my viewers are male. What's up with that? Can't be normal. Right. Ladies, share me with your friends. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm starting this off with a 38 subscribers, so it's a little spooky. No one shows up. Mm. That never happened. But so subscribe. I'm excited. I have like overload of ideas, so um, that's my thing. Is I like, do too many things. Like, there's no 
you should spend time gearing towards some kind of destination and it's kind of like wander so I feel so maybe doing vlogs will help with that hmm why 89% male okay um Let's do some art. So I wanted to do something a little different. I'm just going to be inking up a little comic-ish thing I did. I'm going to try to do more of these. Some are going to be like supporting things I believe in and life lessons and truths and stuff like that. Short, simple things. So now, not all of this is going to be fun and games. It's time for me to buckle down and figure this stuff out. Art marketing and figure out how to do the non-art non -art side of being an artist. Which, I just think that being antisocial in the first place is the best art. So... This little article I found seems very practical and useful. 50 ways to grow your art career. And I think by the time I get to the end of this, it's going to make a huge difference. So you're welcome to do it with me. We're going to do the first three today. Just so I happen to have just done them. Excuse me. Number one. Make sure your website and blog are mobile ready. That's only because it can affect Google search results and probably the other thing. But I think that's the main reason. Number two. Check your blog and website. Load speed. Fix it if you need to. Makes sense. Mine's on WordPress. If you're on WordPress, it should be okay. Number three. Plan your blog posts for the next quarter. Uh, I don't even know what planet I'm going to be on in the next quarter, so... Whatever art I do, that would be on there. Journalizing my art journey. It's almost just beginning, it seems like. There's the first three. It's going to be very emphasizing on things that affect search results and things that you're not typically aware of, just offhand. So that's good. I think next time we'll have. Just be here. Yeah. 